you. Yeah. We should talk about those lips. Like, can we get a tight shot want. of these lips? Yeah, they're... That's... What, okay. what happened? Okay, well, what happened was uh, Larry David, who I work with on Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, said you shouldn't do stunts anymore, you should do stand-up comedy. So I went to Vegas, and I was in a lounge, and I was doing very well. And then a doctor came up to me after a show, Dr. Bernie Middlecoff, and he said, I'm a plastic surgeon, I could give you a little Botox, freshen you up. So I went in and I did it, and then he said, your lips could uh, use a little work. And so this is what he did. I can't have them changed, and it's destroyed my career because people are laughing at my lips rather than the jokes. So I'm suing him for $10 million. You're suing this guy for $10 million. You say it's ruined your career. Yes. Destroyed your career. How yes. do you know if they're laughing at you well, or well, laughing what, at the we, lips? We had a hearing, and the judge gave me three jokes, and uh, uh, told me... <laughs> told me to go on a television show, do the jokes, and when the audience laughs at your lips, you'll wind up with the money. If they laugh at the jokes, you won't. Okay. So you're my very good friend, and... Uh, I'll do these jokes here, and I know they'll laugh at my lips. Okay. All right. This is important. The $10 million in the balance here, ladies and gentlemen. You go ahead. Okay. Uh, man walks into a bar and sits down there, sees a monkey in a cage. And he orders a beer, and he says to the bartender, what's the monkey in the cage? And he said, don't bother me. Just drink, drink. This goes on for a half hour. Finally, the bartender says, all right, I'll show you. He opens the cage. The monkey jumps out. He takes a baseball bat and hits the monkey over the head. The monkey pulls the bartender's pants down and gives him oral sex. The patron said, my God, that's amazing. The bartender said, you want to try it? He says, yeah, but don't hit me so hard. <laughs> They're laughing at the lips, not the joke. Yes. Um, a little boy goes to his father, who's a chief, a little Indian boy, and he said, Daddy, where do Indian children get their names from? And, and, and the chief said, from the last thing the mother sees before she gives birth. That's why your sister is named Magnificent Rainbow. That's why your brother is named Running Deer. And that's why your other sister is named Crystal Water. Why do you ask the question, two dogs? <laughs> a woman's very <laughs> a woman's very afraid of the size of her opening so she <laughs> I could lose a lot of money here. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please tell the tell the joke. A woman's afraid of the size of her opening, so she goes to her mother. She says, "What am I going to do? I'm so big down there. When I marry Harry, he's going to divorce me." She says, "Don't worry, sweetheart. It runs in the family. Do what I did when I married your father. Go to the market, get some raw liver, put it in there. I'll never know the difference." <laughs> So they get married, they have eight hours of sex. She wakes up, he's gone, but there's a note on her pillow. It says, my darling Harriet, to think that I waited here to consummate our love relationship makes my heart beat so loudly, I'm surprised it didn't wake you up. The only reason I didn't wake you up, my sweetheart, is the sun was shining through the window on your face and you were like the pot of gold at the end of my love rainbow. The only reason I'm not here now, darling, is I'm at work to make not enough money to buy you a house, a picket fence, we'll have dogs and children, when the five o'clock dinner bell rings, I will be home like the winged gossamer of love in your arms, your loving husband, Harry. P.S. Your is in the sink.
They're taking this show away from us. <laughs> you don't care, but Andy and I, this is our living. <laughs> Do we know? Is uh, was it you're laughing at his uh, the jokes, or were you laughing at his lips? Thank you, baby. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I got one more joke. <laughs> no, that's it. Super Dave Osborne, everybody.